All across Europe, power prices in the wholesale markets are rocketing. In this video we will be analyzing why this is happening and how we, as individuals, can be affected. At Energy Technology Sherpa, we want to bring you this channel to get acquainted in technologies and investments in the energy sector, primarily clean energy technologies. Sherpa is a key concept as we want to be the right companion for you in a journey that is difficult somehow. Stay with us and let's find how the European wholesale markets do affect you. What we normally see in the TV are not the retail prices but the wholesale market prices. So, the first thing is to understand how these markets operate. There is no obligation for market parties to buy and sell their energy on the wholesale market. Bilateral contracts can be set up. Although volumes traded in the wholesale markets are only a fraction of the final volume of generated electricity, the wholesale prices serve as the price reference in long-term contracts. Most of these European markets are marginal type. In these wholesale marginal markets, buying and selling bids are accepted based on their economic merit and tied to technical restrictions. The point in which bids cross is defining the matching price. Bids left to that point are considered closed, all of them at the matching price. Is any of the marginal wholesale markets performing better than the others? If we look at the evolution of some of them along 2021, we cannot see any relevant difference. No one is consistently delivering higher or lower prices. This is telling us that the differences in the energy mix are not playing a fundamental role. However, in general they all are following a similar trend what indicates there is a factor in common affecting the matching prices. Moreover, this effect is increasing the prices in the last two months. When we spot green or blue colors, this is giving us an indication that very likely energy producers will be losing money. If we are in the red colors domain, this is also an indication of some factors distorting normal prices and creating a harmful situation. Let's try to figure out what is behind the uprising trend in the last two months. Let's use Spain as an example. A similar analysis can be done for any European country. Market prices have been growing very quickly since the beginning of 2021. We will be using January 2021 as a reference point. We also have included the year 2020. Months prior the pandemic lockdown can also give a good reference for comparison. Is the rise in prices a consequence of the recovery of the economy after the pandemic lockdown? Let's see. No relevant increases in power consumption can be seen. So, we must discard the economy evolution as a cause for higher power prices. As bids in the wholesale market, from nuclear and renewable power plants, are done at zero euros, we must investigate the other main components of the energy mix, hydropower, and natural gas. Hydraulic resources, devoted for power generation, do not show any estranged behavior beyond what a seasonal variation is bringing. So, we must discard the hydro power plants as the main cause for prices surge. Natural gas power plants do have two main factors that affect the OPEX, the natural gas and the CO2 allowances. On the natural gas side, we can see that prices have been surging at the same pace as the wholesale power market. In 2021 natural gas supply has been stressed by Asian customers. On the CO2 allowances we can see a similar trend. This is stressed by the fit for 55 targets as we have already explained in a previous video. Whilst the natural gas prices may remain high for the next months there is also a forecast for more moderated prices. However CO2 allowances is a structural factor that will continue to affect the power prices from natural gas power plants. How is all this affecting you? Let's assume you are a Spanish consumer, with your energy bill fully indexed to the wholesale market. Your annual energy consumption is 5,000 kilowatt hours and in 2020 the cost of that electricity was 1,150 euros. 
close to 38% of your bill is energy-related, your consumption. A similar quantity is devoted to the access to the grid and other structural components and finally 24% are taxes. In 2020 the average wholesale market price was €34 Euros per megawatt hour and looking into 2021 we are approaching an average price of €68 Euros per megawatt hour. Therefore, you should be expecting your electricity bill to reach €1,690 Euros what represents close to €50 Euros extra per month. Very few things can be done by any of us as individuals to mitigate this situation. Moreover, the impact of this increase in the GDP and businesses may bring additional damages like wages reduction, increase of interest rates and very likely taxes increases. It is time for authorities and energy sector stakeholders to rethink the market. Thanks for watching.